YouTubers again Carlos over here uh, today we're gonna do something different uh, we're gonna do my computer and it's from my 2001 Chevy Suburban this is the one I just got from a salvage yard not long ago let's say a couple months ago and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strip the wires and deep in my, my harness basically 99 to 2002 will work so I'm just gonna show you the harness now Okay, so that's my harness right here. There you go. So let the cutting begin. And I'm going to show deep pinning and just the wires that I need to make it happen. So here we go. All right. So as you can see, I started taking some of this stuff out. I was originally going to use this one to put it into my uh, truck. I already and I did all the wiring that I needed and deep, in, deep pin what I didn't need. But now, since I already purchased a new one, I'm going to use this one to program my computer. So, I'm just going to cut this out over here. And I'm going to probably snip the wires probably from here on. Because all I need is positive, negative. Uh, the one that goes to my ODB2. So, I already bought myself ODB2 port. See? As you can see. Let me get closer so you all can see. All right, see? And I'm just going to... It provides the hardware so that I can mount these pins whichever way I need. Uh, hey, hey. Honk the horn. Thank you. I'm not home. So I'm just going to put my pins in. I think the total is going to be about six wires. So that's why I'm going to cut this up and use it just for what I need. There's also a plug that I bought, and uh, I'm going to show you later on. Uh so you can see what am I what I'm just gonna do and this is my ODB2 port as you see it it's the same angle as it's showing over here number 16 number 16 what I'm gonna need is 16 that's battery power that's gonna be using the plug I'm gonna need number five and number four that's gonna be my ground both of them gonna be two ground and from the computer it's gonna be on number two and I'm, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to get all the wires from the harness, plug them in the back of this, and then my positive and negative is going to be uh, from my plug that's going to be going onto the wall. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so here you go. Went to lt1swap.com and uh, gives you printouts of the red connector and blue connector. Alright, so this was the red connector. The only ones I was able to need was pin number one and pin number 40. So I wrote it down. Pin one and pin 40 is ground. That's all I'm going to need for the red connector. Now, again, lt1swap.com blue connector. This one over here, I'm going to need pin one, pin 19, pin 20, pin 40, pin 57, 58, and 75. I write it all down. Ground. 19, ignition to PCM. 20, battery power, basically. Uh, pin 40, ground. Uh, pin 57, battery. 58, green wire. That's the one that's going to go to the ODB2 port. Number slot 2, remember when I mentioned that before? And 75 is going to be a power, basically. So all those, as you see me, I marked them. They're going to be positive, so I'm going to put them all in one wire. And the ground, I'm going to connect the ground with uh, this one here and the red connector all together. And it's going to go to my ODB2 port. All that is going to get connected here. There you go. I'll make it happen. 
All right, so we're just gonna take the cover out. It's got some clips right over here. And we're just gonna put a screwdriver in there and then we're gonna pry them out. There you go, that's one side done. I don't know if you've seen it, but I'm gonna do the other side. All right, so here we go. We're gonna come right here at the end of the tab right there. Press in and push out. Oh, press in again real hard. There you go, see? Same thing on the other on all of them. According to my paperwork, I should have pin number 119, 20, 40, 57, 58, and 75. Okay, and the green one, 58, ODB2 port. All right, so here we go. So 1, 19, and 20. Here we go. Then 40. Then comes 57, 58, and 75. All right, so we're good. I got all my numbers and we're good. So I'm just going to tie my grounds together and then I'm going to do my powers together right here. The green one to the ODB2 port. And I can't forget about my other two. They're just grounds. So I'm just going to put them together and solder, set up the wire so I can hook up to the ODB2 port. I'm going to make all my wires the same size. So we should be good to go. Alright, so here we go. It's gonna connect my connector to my computer. So blue, blue with blue. I guess I'll figure out how it's gonna go. I'm gonna say this way. There you go. And it's a seven millimeter tool. I'm just gonna need a socket. Just tighten it. Same thing for the red connector. Okay, red is on the other side. Same way that I was, same way. There you go. Just gonna go ahead and tighten this, and then I start peeling the wires. All right, so what I did was, first thing I went, I went for all the ground. Basically, they're on each corner. So 1, 40, 1, and 40. And I'm just gonna strip the wires. And put them together. I'm just going to solder them together. That way everything's good. I really like all my wires same size. So here we go. There you go. It's going to peel them up. Strip, strip the wire. Get the vinyl out of that. And put them all together. I'm just going to solder this. I'm just going to solder it and have one wire, solder a wire to it, one wire coming out. Alright, so that's pretty much prepped. Moving on to the other ones. Leave everything but the green because I already know that green is going to be my ODB2 port. So all the pinks and oranges, battery supply. So here we go. Same thing. Just going to Get the vinyl off of this here, expose the wire, so that I can also solder it too. And all I'm doing is basically so that I can, you guys are able to do this yourself and not go and to somebody else and they're going to charge you a lot of money just because they're doing the hard work for you, unless if you want to. That's going to be your choice. But not me. I'm not going to give them my money. I rather do the research. I'm doing the research for you so you don't have to. No, oh, one more. All right, sorry about that. I keep bumping the camera. That's all right. It's called work. That's what you call it, work. And then this one is going to be my ODB2 port. 
and my ODB2 port came in with these little strips of wire. All I gotta do is snip one, connect it to my uh, wire, and then plug this one in to num the number two port. It's gonna be the rather boring part of what I did was just I kind of folded the tip. I always get enough wire there so that I'm able to make a good connection. I crimp this part so I can hold on to the vinyl. I don't need to solder this one. This is going to be tight on its own. Very carefully. I'm able to do this. There you go. Nice and tight. Alright, so the vinyl is being held in place. And then the other stuff it just gets crimped on. I like this setup. This is easy, quick and easy, and you can make your own. Crimp the wire, and then crimp the other side very carefully. That's why things cost money because you got to do some work and be. You got to have a little patience. There you go. Good. Now I gotta find uh, my ODB2 port. See? The wire is good. It's secure. It's tight. Okay? So then, I'm gonna go back, and back to my picture. Back to my drawing. Okay. So as you guys saw, point of reference, it's gotta go to number two. So the number two on mine is right here. I don't know if you can see. Ah, oh, let me get closer to you. There you go. So that's gonna be on port number two, but I gotta go from the back. And it's got a way to snap, it's gonna snap itself in place. So I know number two is this one, so it's gonna be my bottom one there. Well, we'll figure this out. Oh, I think I got it. I already seen it. I already seen it. There you go. And push it in. And it should click in place. There you go, number two. Then I gotta do my grounds, which is four and five. Maybe I'll split these two into two. Two of them go to four, two of them's gonna go to five. Then the rest is gonna be number 16. So we'll do that. right here I got my positive on this side negative on that side and I'm gonna use this plug it's an AC DC adapter let me see if, if I can show no it's too bright anyways AC DC adapter it goes from uh, 100 volts and the output's gonna be 12 volts good thing about this one is this little doohickey comes out so this doohickey has got the negative mark, positive mark. I don't know if you're able to see it. Let me see and how close I can get. All right, so negative on this side, positive on that side. And all I have to do is just put the wires in and plug it in. And I just got to plug it in the wall. Once I plug it in the wall, we're good to go. Hook up my positive, my negative, and I have power to power up my computer that way I can do my programming through H HP tuners so here we go okay as you can see it's all done
all wired up, set up. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit so it doesn't look disgusting. Here's my plug. And like I promised, I kept everything positive and negative. So I need to go in here. And I just plug this in. Take this bad boy, plug it in the wall. Take these, plug them in here. And then all I got to do is hook up my HP tuners. Plug it here. And I'm able to see in my computer. That'll be another video. Guys, you have a good one. I hope this helps.